tune in, tune in, tune in, okay? And I'm finna go turn this air conditioner off because it's finna get hot, okay? And y'all know when I be tuning in with y'all that I be already getting overheated and it's finna get even more overheated, okay? So let me go turn this air conditioner off. Uh -oh. And now I'm back with y'all, okay? But we finna do this review or this reaction, okay? To this baddies resort. Yes, baddies, baddies, baddies. And I, <laughs> you know, I'm one myself. <laughs> so, it's lit. For the past three days, I done tuned into this baddies resort season. What is it? Four. <laughs> and yeah, it was lit. It was hectic. It was a lot going on. And I just want to give some of my opinions and how I felt about it, okay? It's the fourth day of Vlogtober, so... This is a good time to do this, add something new to my channel, a little drama with this season four of Baddies, okay? Now, now, like I just said before, I watched Baddies Resort season four the past three days, basically the intro of October, and I just want to give my opinion on it. So, and I'm probably going to give like a slash you know, reaction, review, but I'm going to go backwards, okay? Because I just finished the last episode, the finale. So I'm going to go kind of backwards with stuff that happened. Now, first of all, let's start with who? Who do we got? Um, I'm going to start with Slim Bullen. The one of the gay boys, or he might be bi, I don't know. Yeah, he's bi. Um, Slim, I'm going to start with him because I don't really have too much to say about him. Just, he's overall your average gay or bi boy. He messy, okay? And he going to play the field or play both sides, however you want to say it. Ride the fence. Yeah. He an instigator, okay? But, <laughs> and, yeah, that's all I got to say about him, Okay. So that's why I started with him. Now moving on, we can move to who we want to do next. Poppy. Since we started with um, Slim, we'll just move on to the next, the second man. It was only two men, them two, Slim and Poppy. Poppy, he now, girl, he cool, okay? Poppy cool for the most part. Yeah, he cool. I don't really got too much to say about Poppy. Um, he just need to have a little bit more backbone with standing up for himself. Don't, I don't give a fuck if it's, it comes to females or niggas. Whoever you get into it with, you need to be standing up for yourself, not letting other people stand up for you, okay? But next, we're going to move on to Denise. Yes, Denise was the most hated and stuff. I do believe that they was kind of, you know, bullying her somewhat or creating a, um, what is it, like, mob action against her, kind of. They was kind of, you know, forming an alliance or whatever um and i really think the main reason for that is once she fought taylor and she kept saying i'ma still pop my stuff regardless as she should that's what real baddies do that kind of intimidated them so they can they you know they decided to continue on with bullying her or whatever because you know when you bully when you the bully and you able to intimidate that person, it's fun. But they wasn't able to do that. So, you know, like, basically. Okay, so next we gonna move on to Buka. Buka. She had some pretty feet when <laughs> Crazy Kiki was licking on them toes, yes. I was like shocked, but I was like, hold on, I kind of see why she chose her own, why she wanted to test the waters. Buka kind of surprisingly got some pretty feet. Like, yes, the white French, you feel me? Yes, but um, <laughs> Buka, she cool for the most part. Um, I just, yeah, it wasn't, she shouldn't have spoke to Keys like that when she first came in the house. I could see why Keys felt some type of way, okay? She shouldn't have directed her animosity or responded that way. I could see why Keys did say she is like passive aggressive a little bit. Um, Cause she might get hostile, but then um, 
she might be like a little self-aware about it basically like she might get a little hostile but then right after she gets hostile she kind of realizes it and might try to do something to make up for it so i get that but she cool for the most part she knew how to um not get involved in situations and stay out of situations where it did not pertain to her okay that was good and kudos for her keys we gonna move on to her since i just brought her up in the buka situation keys kind of similar to buka i can see why they bumped heads a little bit but they got over they little beef quick because they had an understanding which that's great. But Key, she remind me of myself. Um, like the girly tomboy thing. She know how to step in and play mediator when it's time. Or she also got a mind of her own. If she don't like something, she not going to rock with it. That's good for her too. Really, you need somebody like that around or in the house. And I definitely think that was her role because why, as soon as she left the house, now, Taylor, you trying to fight Denise because you kind of knew Keys wasn't going to allow that. But that's here nor there. But <laughs> but Keys, yeah, she cool. I, I, I really like Keys. With the three S's, okay? Okay? Okay. Now... Moving on, we're going to move on to Taylor since I just brought Taylor up in the key situation. Taylor, the main bully of the house. You say you don't want to be no bully, whatever, but you a bully, baby girl, okay? You definitely are. Um, you're an instigator. Um, I don't want to talk like I'm talking directly at her because she might try to fight me next, girl. And what's up? No. <laughs> what's up? How you want to do this? But we ain't going to do that. Uh, but yeah, you, you just got to work on some stuff. Okay. You got to work on some stuff, baby. But yeah, like I said, again, I want to talk like I'm talking directly at you, <laughs> but yes, Taylor, uh, when y'all was going in the house, like towards the end, probably like episode 15 or something. And when Denise got up from a card table and stuff, and y'all kept trying to check on her. Y'all knew y'all was instigating that Slim and Taylor. Y'all knew that. Y'all was not trying to go check on her. Y'all had beef with that girl or whatever and was trying to egg it on so she could fight you again or whatever. You know that. That's what you've been doing to her the whole season. Because once you realized that she was not scared of you, <laughs> here we go. That kind of pissed you off a little bit. So now you kind of wanted to antagonize her even more and provoke her even more. But I guarantee you if she would have like, wouldn't have been saying, I'm going to still pop my stuff regardless and probably would have humbled down and almost like hushed up how y'all wanted her to. Y'all wouldn't even been doing all that to her. Now let's, let's act crazy kiki in there i do like crazy kiki she's the og crazy kiki i feel like she was a mediator somewhat like keys but she wasn't um uh, but yeah she was an og so she wasn't supposed to get in stuff but at the same time you should have still if you gonna be the mediator or say you still f with denise you should have showed that a little bit more or if you gonna be you know dealing with everybody and halfway playing both sides you should have made sure you talk to them too like hey i don't feel this this way about this how y'all kind of doing this how you did with the niece you ain't do that all the way you kind of watched as they antagonized her and then spoke to denise on how she reacted to what they was doing to her what they started with her that's not cool all the way you, if you're gonna see something see it right you're gonna need to have a better keen eye because <laughs> i'm sitting here watching the stuff like but um, I know y'all was in the middle of it, but if it's characters that knew how to, like Keys and Buka, they knew how to stay out of the situation or they kind of seen stuff for how it really was, then it was possible for you to do the same. <laughs> Shoot. 
she kind of did right by if you heard Taylor talking about you before you came in the house, yeah, it's on site. Taylor, you knew that. Um, now, Denise, she should have not ran up on Poppy. You know he a man, you a female. You should have left that at what it was. I do feel like Denise did not steal Poppy weed, though. I do kind of feel like that. Either these is the three scenarios I'm going to give y'all for this. Either she really did steal it and she threw it in that washing machine, which I don't feel like that. I feel like somebody else probably stole it and they put it in the washing machine or probably really washed that stuff, okay? But I do not feel like, for the most part, kind of Denise did not do that situation. Like, she really was trying to clear her head, I don't know. I mean, clear her name, whatever. And some of the situations also in the house with Denise, like, if y'all already in two with her, now we gonna go into some of the situations, okay? And then I'm gonna wrap this up, basically. Just with some how I feel about some of the situations specifically that happened. Instead of, we already talked about each character, how I kind of feel about them, but in the situation specifically, okay? So, if y'all already into it with somebody, you cannot be trying to do certain stuff knowing you into it with them. Like, I definitely understand where Denise came from with the prank situation. If we already into it, what the fuck it look like I'm gonna allow you to accept a bet from them pranking me, pouring water on me. We already have animosity, so... Regardless if I knew if it was if it was a prank or not, we already got animosity. So how I'm really supposed to trust that this is strictly a bet or a prank? Stop it. They knew damn well what they was doing and she did right in that situation, okay? We already got animosity. So <laughs> what's up? But now, so the, the weed situation um the prank situation what else that happened i do like when keys um when she was standing in the middle of the door and i do remember it was like taylor asked her what you doing like she was trying to stop her from something or whatever and keys was like i'm doing everything <laughs> trying to do okay it's not how i feel it i feel her okay <laughs> she like i'm everything and so <laughs> but um crazy kiki you a mess with your wig baby okay your personality keep it up i like how you don't give a f when nobody feel the seeking the um whatever like yo whole little monologues and um improv and shit <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> freak you might want to suck these toes next no let me chill but um <laughs> but yes kiki um um yes now slim you did say your roomie was gonna have to fight whoever for the bed but that's that messy gay people stuff. You made it seem like to Denise, how you said it, you ain't make it seem like they really was going to have to fight. Like, so you knew what you did with that. That's that gay stuff. That's that gay boy stuff. They'll say something and mean something totally different. They some setups. <laughs> them gay boys, you got to watch them. But yeah, she basically, he basically set her up for that kind of, or whatever. He shot it. He should have went in detail a little bit more of what he meant or what had already happened before he got there um but yeah and y'all getting lost in texas stop it ain't nobody had common sense dits <laughs> ditsy hugs to go buy a charger from the same gas station y'all had to push taylor car to my phone died and we mobile Pull straight up to the gas station. What are you talking about? It's chargers in here. I know y'all got money. Y'all not just on TV and ain't got at least 
fifty dollars in your pocket. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like y'all did not go to the house with no no money. Like stop it. And y'all, how y'all was staying in the crib? Y'all dang near was acting like it. But but y'all kept it lit. I give y'all that. But these are some of my opinions. I know season season five supposed to be coming out soon, so I'm gonna tune into that one too. This baddies resort, real decent. Y'all was lit. Keep it up, okay. And I'll be tuning in with y'all for the next reviews and reactions, okay. So if you like this, be sure to comment something. All right. If you didn't like it, be sure to comment something so I don't give no fuck <laughs> real baddie. Okay? Because, like, uh, what she say? I'm going to pop my stuff regardless. <laughs> okay? So, I really don't care about what your opinion is about my opinion. Okay? But, now let's keep it cute. Stay true, okay? Till next time. Aim to win. To fight. To conquer. To try, okay?